Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a process video for you today. This is day 11 of Note to Self from By the Will for God. This is the day that I was um, privileged to be able to write. And so I'm just going to kind of take you through my thought process and also some more information about the day that I wrote. So the first thing I'm doing here is I have some Distress Oxide ink in Vintage Photo and I'm just using the stencil that coordinates with the kit. And I'm going to just create a background, kind of a subtle background on this page um, with this stencil. So I'm gonna do this over here on the right side and then I will um, flip over to the left side and do the exact same thing. I'm just trying to get a little bit more interest here on my background. And then um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to take some texture paste and I left all the ink on there because it doesn't really, it's not gonna matter. I'm just using the same exact stencil. Um, and so I'm taking some, sorry, I just realized one of my lights was not on. Um, I'm gonna take some light and fluffy modeling paste. This is from the Crafters Workshop. And I like it because it's nice and light. It dry, it's thin, it dries quickly. Um, and so I just, I like using it for this technique. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm just using my the back of my palette knife. I scooped it out of the, um, the can. I'm just kind of spreading it down my stencil. And you can see I'm picking up a little bit of that Distress Oxide ink, which is totally fine. I would say just be careful if you're dipping back into there. You don't want to make, you want to make sure there's none of that ink on the, on your palette knife to kind of go back into your nice bright white modeling paste. But um, I'm okay with it picking up the ink. In fact, it's going to pick up some of the color that I've already put down and all that is fine. It's exactly what I intended to do. And then I am putting some, this is the Distress um, Embossing Glaze in Vintage Photo over the top. So this is going to end up with just a slightly different color than what you see in the background because obviously this is a glaze going over white modeling paste, but I, it's why I wanted, I was okay with the color of the white being a little bit different because it just adds a little bit of variation. It's hard to see, but the, the embossing glazes are translucent. So um, I just poured that over the top and then I um, dumped all the excess onto this piece of paper, which I'm now funneling back into my little jar. And um, that way I can, you know, I'll, obviously just keep reusing that. And then, um, I will let this sit. Now this embossing or the, um, texture paste is wet when I do this. So then I'm just going to set that off to the side. I did it on both sides, set it off to the side. I'm going to let it dry. And because I don't like to waste things, I want to use up the rest of this texture paste that's on my stencil. So I just pulled out a craft tag and I'm just using the, all of the little texture paste that's on there to go back through the stencil one more time. Um, to decorate the front of this little tag. And um, and then I will just set that off to dry. It's important to note when you're using embossing or um, texture paste, you wanna make sure that you clean it out of your stencil right away because um, it will dry in there and ruin your stencil. So I just ran that to the sink. And then now I'm going to heat this up. It has dried for quite a while. It's been probably a couple hours. Um, and so I'm bringing in my, my heat tool here and I'm sorry, I always forget when I do this, I get like really close to my camera and it makes it weird, do weird things. But, um, I'm just heating this up. You just heat this up like you would any other embossing glaze. You just want to make sure that your texture paste underneath is dry. Um, if not, it can bubble up, which if you want that look, that's totally something you can do. And I've done that in the past just for the extra texture, but I didn't want to take away from the design of the stencil. So I, I waited to make sure that this texture paste was really dry. And as a side note, one way that you can kind of do that is if you feel the back of the paper, if it feels cold, it's not dry. So you just need to just let it sit some more and, um, and then, and you'll feel, be able to feel the difference. So I pulled out one of these little mini file folders and I'm going to tuck all of my notes and things in here. And um, so for the rest of this is pretty much, you know, I'm not really doing anything. It's just kind of me fiddling around with things. I will say um, just for one last color reference, I am using archival ink in ground espresso and I'm actually going right over this stenciling that I did, this embossing glaze, because I wanted to darken this up just a little bit. There was too much orange or just a little bit more orange cast to it than I wanted. So, but other than that, the rest is just going to be kind of me fiddling. So I wanted to say what a, an honor and privilege it was to be able to write for this devotional. It was so 
excited to be able to do that. I remember in 2020 when the team did it before and I just, I got so much out of that devotional. Not that I don't get out a lot out of them every month, but it's just so special to be able to hear from everybody on the team. And especially now that I've had the chance to meet most of them. And so, um, and just kind of, you know, hear their heart about things. And so, um, but one of the things that I was I was writing about, you just saw me, I put the title down for this day, which was words of encouragement, but I went through a year in my early 30s that I talk about in this um, devotional, and it was a really hard year. It was a year that my, my dad passed away. It was also the same year that my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And so um, the Lord just really showed himself to be a refuge and a help for me in this year through different things that happened. I talk about that in the devotional um, just words of encouragement that came through people to me before things even happened. And so, um, and also in that year, it was kind of hard to write all of this out because you only had so much space, obviously. But um, that same year, um, that earlier in that year, prior to my dad passing away, my mom had had her can- her surgery for her breast cancer and they lived in Denver. I lived in Georgia. And so I, along with my four kids, I was homeschooling at the time. So I packed up my kids, I packed up all their curriculum and I went and I stayed for about six weeks in, um, in Denver to help my mom after her surgery. And, um, so I had the opportunity to be with my parents for, for six weeks. So from January to the middle of February. And, um, and that was such, it was a hard time because my mom obviously had just had surgery, but looking back on it, I can see how the Lord just made a way for us to be able to do that. So we had that time with my parents and my kids had that time with their grandparents. And then, um, cause in March is when my dad passed away. And so, um, and that was really hard. My kids were really close to my parents and, um, and so it's one of the things that I, that I talked about, but another aspect of this devotional that I wrote, um, one of the scriptures that I included in there is Psalm 46 about the Lord being our refuge and strength. And that was true. And the Lord has really proven that to me, but that was also my mother's favorite scripture. She passed away a few years ago. And, um, and so I, I wanted to include that in that devotional just because, um, it was all kind of part of my story. It was hard to get it all written, um, in there, but you know, the Lord has promised to always be there for us. And he sends word of, of encouragement. He sends the things that we need before, before we need them. And so, um, I just wanted to give a little bit more of that background of that story. Um, that year, like I said, that was just a really hard year. Um, not that we haven't, you know, all had bad experiences or difficult things. We all face hard times. Some of our struggles are different than others and everything, but the Lord is faithful and he provides encouragement and help and strength. And he is our, our refuge. And, you know, this other scripture that I put on here, the, my main verse is that, you know, when you pass through the waters, they will not overtake you. When you pass through the fire, you won't be burnt. And it just, um, is a scripture that I have held on to so much. It spoke to me that year, but it has helped me in all the years since that happened in 2011 and in all of those years, these verses have been something that have, have, has helped me, um, just remembering that he is faithful. And so, um, you can see what I'm doing here. I have this, uh, little tag that I had stenciled on previously, excuse me. And I, um, I had written a scripture on the back of there. And so I'm just, I went through with some dress, dress oxide. I think it was in broken China. I just wanted to color the texture paste a little bit because it was no longer that really bright white, um, just because it was kind of a thin coat on there. So I just wanted to add a little bit of color with that. It's going to get tucked in one of the little pockets that I create anyway. Um, so in terms of my page, I know the last few days I've been talking about, you know, each of the, the girls on the creative team and how I was trying to do, you know, things on their page that kind of remind me of them. Well, it's kind of hard to do that on, on your own, <laughs> own page. So I'm just kind of doing the things that I like. I, I really love mixed media work. And so that's why I did the stenciling in the background. That's why I did the texture paste. That's why, um, I thought about going even a step further, but I didn't want to mess up some of the other pages in my book. 
So, um, cause I can be pretty messy sometimes when I do mixed media stuff. So, um, it's why I added the texture on this little tag here. I'm using a staple to add some fabric to the top of this tag, um, as my little tag pole, because I love that fabric so much that has all of our handwriting on it. It's so special. And so I created a little pocket out of this file folder and I have the title for my day, which was words of encouragement on there that I use the clear, um, I'll use the, the tile alphas and the clear stickers on there. And, um, then I kind of had, I wanted to make sure to write out this one main verse. Um, it's one of the things about me and the way that I like to journal. If I'm journaling in a book, I like to write out every single one of the scriptures. I do. I like doing scripture writing. Um, it just really helps me slow down and focus and really, um, get more, um, get more from the verse. It's just a lot of times when I slow down and I take the time to do that, other verses that correlate will come to me and you, you know, it can kind of lead you down a rabbit hole of, of study. And so I writing out scripture is just something that I really enjoy doing. So I am going to glue down this little mini file folder over here. I also added this little typewriter on there, which I love. It was from the clear stickers. And then I had my flashcard over here on the right and it was kind of getting in the way. So I actually just borrowed a little technique of Taryn's and folded down the corner there just to, um, really just kind of get it out of the way of my writing. And then I added a little mini paper clip over there. And then I wanted to add some of the other details, um, little bits and pieces. So I, I fussy cut this pen. This is one of the die cuts. And, um, because like I said, the writing out of the scripture is something that, um, in any journal that I work on, especially is really, really important to me. I will, I always write out every, every verse and, and like I said, in other verses that come to me while I'm studying, that's just an important part of how I personally work through these devotionals. And then I had this little calendar too, that was in there. And so I wanted to add something kind of up in this top area. And then I thought, well, I would just go ahead and mark, um, the day that this scripture was given to me. Um, and it was actually the day right before my father passed away. And so I, um, I circled the date on there and then I'm just going to glue that behind my little cluster. That's just an, an, an a detail that's important to me. It probably won't, you know, if someone were just looking through, it might not mean anything to them, but it's that date is important because that's when the Lord really gave me this scripture as encouragement. And then over here on the left side, on the front of this file folder, I am going to write out the lyrics to the chorus of a song. It is um, by C.C. Winans, as my preferred version of this song anyway. And it's, um, the chorus says, All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. And that just really wraps up how I feel about this day and looking back on this time in my life and the time since. And so um, I wanted to just include that on there. And now I'm going to glue down all of these little pieces. I added another sticker over there on the file folder. That was like a little neo, uh, neo color crayon. And um, just for another little pop of red, I end up having to add some more glue, a different kind of glue, because with that texture of that um, texture paste over there, it just was not sticking. So I used some Helmar 450 quick dry. It's a little bit thicker of a glue just to kind of hold everything down. And that pretty much does it for me. So thank you so much for listening and watching this video. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye-bye.